It's funny, a lot of people say they like to be Michael Jordan for a day or for a week, but let them try to be Michael Jordan for a year to see if they like it. I think, I think what people don't realize is that from the moment Michael Jordan leaves his hotel room, the spotlight is on him. Michael, could I get a picture with you and my son? Skipping nursery school, huh? Given his whole hectic schedule before a game, he would sit down for five minutes, ten minutes with a terminally ill child. On top of all that, he had to perform. After the game, he has ten minutes in the locker room to cool off and then a room full of media. How are you going to entertain us tonight? Listen, everybody, can we move this way and kind of spread out a little? I swear to you, he ain't going to run away. Then you get back to the hotel, another large group of people. Michael was competitive at everything whether it was on the golf course or playing cards, whatever it was. Scotty, Michael, Ron Harper, these guys would play cards in the back of the plane for major money. And me, John Paxson, BJ Armstrong, we would play blackjack in the front of the plane for a dollar a hand. But he would come up to the front and he's like, what are you guys doing? You mind if I play? And I remember John Paxson looking at him and going, why in the hell do you want to play with us? We're playing for a dollar a hand. I remember he looked at him and goes, because I want to say I got your money in my pocket. Welcome to another edition of Bulls basketball. The Bulls remain just one game away from securing home floor advantage in the Eastern Conference playoffs. They could do it with a win tonight. How you doing? So you coming back next year, Michael? <laughs> At age 30, Jordan has led the Chicago Bulls to NBA championships, the dream team to an Olympic gold medal, and most importantly, he's given America and the world a sorely needed hero. A Jordan sighting sparks a frenzy, his touch a burst of tears, and being Mike means being the most popular human on the planet. Michael Jordan had become such a huge cultural figure in the early 90s. He was so widely celebrated. Inevitably, there's going to be someone who's going to start trying to find some dirt. The Sun-Times reports the book details conflicts within the team. The book outlines alleged turmoil on the club during its run for the title last season. In fact, it alleges Jordan was kind of a tough guy with some of his teammates. Michael Jordan is not perfect. Not everybody loves him. You know, he wasn't, he wasn't particularly beloved by his teammates. Michael actually told teammates not to pass the ball to a certain player during crunch time. Threatening the other guys, saying that if they did it, they would never get the ball from him again. The Jordan rules took a big toll on him off the court. But on the court, he, he was Isaiah won two straight, Magic at one two straight, but none of them won three in a row. The third championship was the separator. And you win three, you're on Mount Rushmore. Without question, it was this incredibly... In the early 90s, the Knicks replaced the Bad Boy Pistons as a team that Chicagoans hated the most. Four double technicals were called on McDaniel and Jordan. Patrick Ewing was the biggest focus for us offensively. It was extremely physical. It wasn't really a foul until you drew blood. was the MVP that year. I felt very confident going into that series because if there's anybody you want to beat, it's Michael Jordan. Handle the goddamn pressure. I was a little bit upset that I didn't get the MVP that year and they gave it to Charles Barkley. So the Chicago Bulls take game one. They went by as many as 20 and they win it 100 to 92. Barkley. 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 So the final score of the Bulls 111, the Sun.
Williams, 108. Three on the intercept. The Phoenix Suns in triple overtime have defeated James to one lead. Led by Michael Jordan. And will do it. The Phoenix Suns leading most of the way. Everybody's dreading getting back on the plane. So I just say, look, man, I don't know about you guys. I'm only packing one suit. 